Whew. Just doing a cylinder repair and uh, got this piston head off. I bought this special tool thinking it was going to be the duck's nuts. And uh, well, that's how that went. So I made my own little tool out of a crowbar, a drill bit, and two bolts and a grinder. And it come off a piece of piss. And now I've just got to reseal these. Put some new seals on them. I'll be good as go. Here's the gland. I've already put that seal in. There's the old one. And uh, here's the old inner gland seal. I've got to get this one in. And I'm going to use the kettle to put it in. Alright, eh? Cup of tea time. I mean, reseal time. Now, careful, it's going to be hot. So there we go. Ooh, that is quite warm. Get him in there and then just work him around. This last bit's always the hardest part. Oh, I got him. Right. Giggle. Now I just got to replace these rubber O rings, this rubber seal here. Good as gold. There's the old ones. Also cleaned off some of the surface rust around the face here. Now I can put that gland back on the rod. I'll just put a bit of grease on it first. Ooh, that's nice. All nicely lubed up. I mean, nobody likes going in dry. Slide that on, like so. In my push, it might require two hands to push. It's tight. Why is it so tight? Oh. Might give it a little love tap. I mean, it's nice and tight, so it's not going to leak. And now for the piston head, we don't get a new uh, spring clip, but we get Teflon, Teflon seals, rubber seals, all over here. I'm getting out of that sun, it's too bloody hot. All right, so what I always do when I do these ones is I do it in stages so that I know that I'm putting it on in the right spot. So I know that the wait, get off there. spring clip goes on top. That's easy enough to remember. Off, put that to the side. There's no seals underneath that. So we'll go for, actually I'll do it the other way. Top Teflon seal, you can come out. These have got like a little bit of a ridge in them. So you wanna make sure that they're going in the right way. And then this one here, that's also got a ridge on it. I'm gonna get this rubber seal out. Wake that up like that. Pull that off. So now I know that goes to the top. We'll give that a bit of a wipe down. <laughs> right, so that one goes on first because that come off last. So we'll go to flow. Oh, hang on. Yep, make sure I got that the right way, which I do. Teflon. Do I have it in that way? Yes. Teflon. 
Wait a minute. That doesn't seem right. Hmm, it is. Teflon? These are definitely the right seals. That's better. That looks better. Right. Uh, rubber seal. And then Teflon seal and rubber seal. Like that. And then put the spring clip back on. And now I can go put that back on the piston rod. Now I'll put this back on the rod. Lefty loosey righty tidy for these ones. I suppose my little tool that I bought is not all wasted because I can use it for the last little bits. Get it tightened on. If I tighten it with this, I'll straighten that back out. <laughs> I'll tighten it off with my special tool. Homemade. You can't get better than homemade products, can you? If I can get that to line in. Better put that hammer down here. Oh. A little love tap. That's lined up pretty well. I'll punch that back in. Now that's all punched in. It's good practice just to go around with a screwdriver. Just make sure you've got no nasties on there. Because you don't want that ending up in the hydraulic system. No loose bits of metal. Give it a bit of a wiping. Right to be put back together now. Right, eh? We can put this back on. Might just give that thread a bit of a clean. Working around with these new seals. Get on there. That keeps popping off there and gets stuck on there. Get back. Here you go. You just love Teflon seals. Right, eh? That's better. Grab that. And press this on. Take this off. your wrench. Tighten this up. Now punch out these 
So I've got like a steel washer around it. It's connected to the cylinder. It stops the gland from spinning. So I'll punch that out. I'm really good at losing stuff today. Safety spectacles. That's one sealed cylinder.